Hello there. Hope you're doing well. So welcome to the channel and here today or rather in this video, uh, I would like to talk about window functions in Tableau. So window functions are basically functions that work with the data that is present in the graph. This area in Tableau, the canvas, right, uh, the where we create the chart, this area is referred to as the canvas or simply it is referred to as the window. It is a place where whenever we drag and drop fields in columns, rows, marks, etc., the graph takes a shape. So when you work with the data present on the chart, it is called as a window calculation. All right. And all these window calculations by default are table calculations because they work with the data in the canvas. And the chart is also referred to as a table in Tableau. Each graph that you create is also referred to as a table. So all the window calculations by default are table calculations. Now, what does this mean? It might sound very confusing. Let me explain it with an example. So here I have order date on the columns and I shall present the data by month. And let's say I'm looking at the monthly sales of this business. Okay, the monthly sales of this business. I'll also turn on the mark labels here. So how did Tableau get these numbers? What is the data that it's working with? It is basically working with the underlying data. Underlying data, meaning what? It accesses the data source and for all the transactions which have happened in the month of Jan in 2020, sales corresponding to that is taken and it is summed up. So when we sum up the sales corresponding to Jan 2020, the total sales happens to be 14,518. Okay, so for example, now here I am on Superstore. Let me just go and put a filter. So what is it essentially doing? Accessing the transactions corresponding to 2020 and under 2020 corresponding to only January. 2020. Okay. I think I'll have to manually uncheck everything. Only Jan. Okay. Jan of 2020 is what I have selected here. So when we look at those transactions corresponding to January 2020, you can see up to 31st of Jan 2020, we have the data here. All right. And when I sum up this uh, information in the sales column corresponding to it. So when I take summation of the data in the sales column, it is coming up to be 14518. 14518, which is what we are seeing over here. So this is a regular aggregation, summation of the data in the sales column, where Tableau accesses the underlying data and then fetches the total sales. Similarly for Feb, it is 4,520, which means when we now look at data corresponding to only February, if I uncheck Jan and put Feb there, okay, when I'm looking at data corresponding to the month of Feb, you can see we have data only for 27 days. And then when I sum up the information present in the sales column over here, this one, it is coming up to be 4519.8. You can see it on the status bar at the bottom. Right. So this is row level calculation. It is working with the underlying data and giving us the sales per month under each year, which is perfectly fine as expected. This is how Tableau behaves. Now let's say I need to compute the average of these values. I would like to take the monthly sum of sales computed and calculate what is the average of this data. Now, how to do that, right? I'm going to simply go and create a calculated field. I'll call this window average. What do, you, what do I need? I need the average of the data present on the window. So basically, I need the average of the data on the window, the data on the window is sum of sales, sum of sales, monthly sum of sales. However, when we do this, Tableau throws an error. You can see that it is telling that the calculation contains error. It is going to tell us that we cannot aggregate something which is already an aggregation. You have already summed up sales, you can't further aggregate it, but that's what we need. But what is it that I exactly need? I need the average of the data, which is sum of sales, Present where? Present on the window. 
So here, a regular average function will not work. Window average is what we need to take. So what is this going to do now? It is going to compute the average of the data, monthly sum of sales, present on the window. That is present in this graph. So window function, remember, works with the data that is present in the chart. And by default, it is always a table calculation. Why? Because it's working with the data in this table. Now, somehow I need to indicate it. You can either put a reference line indicating that data or you could just show it in the title. However you want, you can use it. So I will just take it into the detail shelf. Now, I'll insert it into the table. So let's say average is equal to and I'll insert the window average function over here which shows me the average. So I'll call this window average. So this is the average of the data on the canvas. Means when we take all these numbers that are present in the graph, okay, monthly sum of sales and compute the average of it, it is going to be 48,469. If you want, you can confirm by copying that data into an Excel sheet, cross-check, validate it. So this is what I have. Copy, cross-tab. So put on your worksheet and paste that data here. So this is what I have. Sales, right? Monthly sum of sales. So when we take the average of these numbers, the monthly sum of sales, the one that I've highlighted here, you can see the average on the status bar, 48,469.3. 48,469.3. So here it's not showing decimals. If you want, you can go and format to show decimals also. So this is a window function. Now let's say from this graph, I want to figure out what is the minimum sales. What is the minimum sales that the business has made? So I'm not talking about the minimum sales in each month. Meaning when I take sales here and when I say fetch me the minimum by changing the aggregation to minimum, it is going to show what is the minimum sales in that particular month. Means it is working on the underlying data. So now for example, Feb, the minimum sales in Feb is 1.080. So what is it doing? I already have the filter for February in place over here. So from here, it is fetching what is the minimum sales. Okay, from this column, it is basically fetching what is the minimum sales. 1.08. Okay, but we don't want the minimum of the sales that is present in the underlying data per month, right? What is our intention? We need to check what is the sales over here and out of this, what is the minimum sales? means out of all of these monthly sales that we have, what is the minimum? It is 4,520. This is the least value on this graph. Now, how do I get the minimum of the data present on this chart, on this window? I need to create a calculated field and use the window function, which will give me the minimum of what? Of the data on the window. So what is this going to do? It's going to compute the minimum of the values, which is sum of sales, present on the window. Means present in the graph that we have created. And now, you can I'll introduce it into the title again. Insert minimum sales over here. And you can see it is 4520. Now from this graph, how do I figure out what is the maximum value? Again, I don't want the maximum from the underlying data. I don't want to go and see that in Feb. The maximum is 1256. That is not my intention. If that was my intention, then I can simply take the sales data itself into the canvas. I can go ahead and change the aggregation to maximum. Right. So it's telling me what is the maximum sales in Feb. You can see this number here, 1256. The highest sales in the month of February. But that's not the intention, right? Window function we need. Of whatever monthly sales data we have on this canvas, we need to figure out what is the maximum which is over here. So I'm going to create a calculated field to get the max sales from the window. Window max of sum of sales. So I hope you got a fair understanding of what is a window function. It basically computes whatever function we use, minimum, maximum, average, even the total, okay? of the data that is present in the canvas. 
Now, what if I want the standard deviation of this data? I will just go ahead, create a calculated field for standard deviation. So the function to be used is window standard deviation of the data that is there, sum of seals. What will this do? It will compute the standard deviation of the data, which is sum of sales present on the window. So when I look at the complete data and when I check for the standard deviation of the data, let's let me include that here. Insert it. So the standard deviation of this data is 25,416. So this is a window function. It works with the data that is present in the window or on the canvas. Okay. Now, what is the application of this concept? We have a lot of applications. Let's look at one. I'm going to create a sparkline chart. Sparkline is basically when you go at exact date level of detail and you present the data per day, per performance of the business on each day. But it's really, the beauty of this chart is it will reveal the anomalies in the data. You can see the outliers. Okay, it instantly reveals the outliers. It, it helps you detect if there are any abnormalities or anomalies in the data, like outliers. However, it can't reveal any patterns in the data. It can't really show you if there is a seasonal pattern or a cyclical pattern in the data. So for this, we need to smoothen out this curve. Okay, now each data point is indicating the sales per day. How much sales did the business make on 3rd of Jan, then 4th of Jan, 5th of Jan, 6th, so on and so forth. Daily, daily sales is what we have. Now, let's say I want to compute the moving average of this data. So I will take sales again and we could just go ahead and apply quick table calculation moving average. It will compute the moving average. And after you have applied a table calculation, when you move it into your measures pane, it gets stored as a field. Okay, it gets stored as a field. Done. Okay, I think I have it. I'll just call it one. Now, if I edit and show you this formula. So what is a table calculation? A quick table calculation is a calculation that works with the data in the table, right? In the graph. So even the moving average calculation, it's just getting you the average of the data, which is sum of sales present in the chart. And the window size it is using is negative two and zero. What is negative two and zero? So basically, if this is my data point, this is my starting point, which is zero, then two data points prior to that will be taken. Two data points prior to that. Okay, now I'm not very happy with uh, the window size. So I'll change it. I want it to take the current data point and let's say 45 data points after that. Start and end. Take the current data point and maybe 60 data points after that. Now you look at the curve. So we can see some sort of a pattern getting revealed over here. We can see that almost every year around May, the sales is dropping and around November, it's increasing. May, it's dropping. November, it's increasing. Again, May, it's dropping. November, it's increasing. So there is a kind of a seasonal pattern in this data. Okay, so that is what this function does. Now, let's say I don't want to use the inbuilt moving average quick table calculation, but I would like, like to write a formula. We can very well go ahead and do it. We could create a calculated field. Now, rather than a spark line, just for clarity's sake, let me keep it at quarter level or maybe at month level. Okay, so this is the monthly sales. Again, we don't see any pattern as such. So I'm going to create a calculated field to get the moving average. Which is nothing but the window average. Window average of the sum of sales. Now here we are supposed to give start and end. Let's say with the data point under consideration and then four data points or five data points after that. Okay, so what is this going to do? Let me show you. Look at the smoothened curve that you're getting on the bottom, right? So I have taken the current data point and five data points after that. So what the system does, what Tableau does is one, two, and then five after that, two, three, four, five. It computes the average of these five values, which, indica which is indicated in the first data point. Then it moves because this is window calculation, moving calculation, it moves. In the next frame, the next window, the frame just moves to the next five data points. So the current data point is this. 
and five after that. One, two, three, four, five. So when we take the average of these numbers, it's going to be the second data point, 30,781. Again, the window moves. So if this is my current point, then one, two, three, four, five after that. So when I take average of these five numbers, that is what is coming over here. So this is a window calculation, something that works with the data that is present on the window. I hope you got some clarity about window calculations. Just remember, they don't work with the underlying data. They don't work with the underlying data. They just work with the data that is present in the canvas, present in the graph that you have created. So in the next video, I'm going to show you one scenario-based interview question where we make use of this concept. And those of you who are following the channel for the content in English, uh, thank you so much. I have made a separate playlist which has all the videos which I made in English language. So I request you all to directly access the playlist. And going forward also, whatever videos will be made in English, I shall add it to that playlist. It will be easier because this channel has videos on English as well as in uh, Telugu, that is my mother tongue. Okay, so I uh, so just for clarity's sake, the playlists are created separately for English audience. You can watch all the videos over there. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't have come this far without your support. Thank you. Bye-bye.